the summer has come and gone in a flash and we're now into autumn. It's the end of October and it's a beautiful day and we're now going to look back at some of the successes from this upright coal frame that we've produced in the garden this year. So the courgettes we've grown have given us a real good crop. They've produced all through the summer and we've literally just picked the last one off now in sort of the middle of October. Uh, so they're an excellent crop to grow for the first time gardener. I'd highly recommend them but you only need two plants at the most really for a small family because they do keep fruit in all, all through the season. We've had an abundance of crops off them. The runner beans that we grew from seed were also very productive. Once the flowers started to form on the plants, the runner beans kept coming almost daily we were taking crops. In fact, actually we've picked that many off. I think we've kept four families going at least with the amount of runner beans that that row of plants has produced. The kale was also a good crop. We started that one off from seed and we've got plenty of plants in the garden. Now I did have a little bit of a problem with the kale. We had a lot of problem with butterflies and I didn't really get the crop netted in time to stop the butterflies laying their eggs. So they got ravaged a little bit early on by young caterpillars and I've had a tedious time having to try and pick the caterpillars off and to get the net on to get them protected. But they've seen the way through and we're now into the winter and going to have a good crop from those. So back to the upright coal frame. This has been the home for the two tomato plants that we set off. We've had excellent crops, picking them all summer. The Alicante is a large tomato and I really enjoyed those sliced with a few anchovies on and a little splash of salt. They were delicious. And the sun gold plant was an excellent plant to grow. It's produced an abundance of small tomatoes that were perfect in salads. I kept them watered regularly, but some of the tomatoes did split. Didn't really affect the flavor, but they just didn't look too nice. That's caused by not watering them regularly enough. So you do, they do need regularly watering, perhaps three, four times a day to try and avoid them from splitting. The chili plants have also performed really well. They've started flowering back in August and they've carried on and we've had a load of flowers and then they started fruiting through into September and we've get now getting a real good crop of chilies off those. So now what I'm going to do with the upright cold frame, the tomato plants have virtually gone over. So I'm just going to clear the cold frame out. So I'm just going to bring out this chili plant there and I'm going to bring out these uh, bring out these tomato plants. We'll clear the cold frame out. I'll put all the, all the leaves and all the stalks and everything on the compost heap. And I'm gonna give the upright cold frame a good clean. So I'm gonna clean it down with a mild detergent. What that'll do is help to increase the light that comes into the upright cold frame for overwintering plants. And it also helps to remove any diseases and pests that might be in there. So the upright cold frame is now all clean and ready for winter and I'm going to keep these chilli plants in there to keep them out of the frost and I'm going to keep harvesting the fruits as and when they're ready. We're getting a good crop of chillies off these now. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in some plants to, to overwinter them. So things like this geranium here, this won't stand much frost, so I'm going to start and bring that in now. I'm going to use this for taking cuttings in, into next year. I hope you've enjoyed the series and look out for more video blogs that we're going to be doing in the future.